believe and so true. But after two weeks she had had quite enough and there was only one thing she could do. So she went to the store and bought poison galore. A length of strong rope and a knife. A large caliber gun and a stainless steel axe. She was soon to become an ex-wife. When he got home from work, she poured him a drink. Laced with a strength sapping drug. He drank it down. Then she poured him another, and he collapsed in a heap on the rug. And she took her chance to curtail the romance, and she used the rope, knife, axe, and gun. And when he was dead, not one tear did she shed. She just calmly dialed 911. sheriff came round, he said, look what I found, there's evidence here, quite a lot, it looks like he was grabbed from behind and then stabbed and then poisoned and then strangled and shot, I'd say from the facts he's been hit with an axe and struck with a hammer quite hard. There's a rope round his throat, but the lack of a note means suicide's probably not on the cards. So he questioned the wife, who was still holding the knife, and asked if she committed the crime. There was a strong indication of premeditation. She'd been thinking about it for some time. When asked why she did it, she merely replied, she'd grown tired of him and his ways. He'd sworn to love her until he died, and he did for just 14 short days. So they took her to court, but the hearing was short in that small, small town in Missouri. Cause though she showed no repentance, she got a very light sentence Cause she'd slept with the judge and the jury So let this be a lesson to all you young men Blinded by love that seems true Real love is quite rare, so you should always prepare To get her before she gets you